Well, the 3D San Diego Box League uh, started a couple years ago. Um, you know, when we wanted to train our guys in the off season, what's the best way we could do it? And we found it was the box. We had these touches. Uh, we taught the things that we wanted to teach, like off ball movement, uh, two man game, in, in tight finishing. So we credit this league, and, and it's kind of turned into like a fall CIF season, where we have the majority of the serious teams in San Diego playing this, in this league. We have 18 varsity teams and 18 middle school and youth teams. So we're constantly playing over here at Kit Carson Park from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every Sunday, and then we play from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Rhyme State for all of our youth teams in Encinitas. So, uh, you know, it's turned into this kind of countywide event, and, and I'm 3D, and, I, and I've had this idea for a while, but we, 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 some of the clubs have kind of put their, their differences aside and decided it's much better for us to work together um, and set them against each other. So we've added the adrenaline teams this year, which has really improved the value and quality of the league. And, uh, you know, I think now we kind of have a pattern here where we know we can play high-level box across in the fall here in San Diego. Well, I, I, you know, I think what's fueling the growth of box lacrosse is, is we're kind of in the perfect situation where the rinks are easier to get than the fields. And it's hard to put a quality fall product together. Everyone's playing football and doing this and doing that. But when you have a quality box lacrosse option on Sundays, and, and then if you're not playing a fall sport, uh, you can practice box. I think what's what's fueling it is we found a way to have good lacrosse in the fall, you know. So that's really kept the league growing, and the more people practice, the more they take it seriously. The more skill it develops, and the better plays it, players it develops. You know, and, and my whole hope is that um, the more we commit to playing box lacrosse, and the more box lacrosse we do here in San Diego, we consistently produce a hybrid player, right? And, and, and I would like San Diego to be ready for not just athletes. Yeah, you know, Duke, we, we, we run an offense called Duke Pairs, and Duke runs it, and it's kind of a four-man box up top and two guys behind, and it's very much box-oriented, uh, simple concepts, but if I run that offense in the spring, um, you know, I get all the reps that I need in the fall, like the two-man game, the, the, the off-ball motion, how to play around the goal. We kind of go in the spring, if we have a good fall set, and not have to worry about all these little things that we've learned in the fall. You know, the skills that the college coaches want to see, I think, are, um, you know, are you dodging with your head up? Are you ready to pass? Are you ready to shoot? Are you seeing two steps ahead? Can you anticipate? You have to have those skills in tight space so you're just kind of running around. Uh, you know, guys that have been successful that have played box they have had a, a lot of the ability to fake. You know, fake near, shoot far, fake near, or fake far, shoot near. Uh, deceptive shooting is something that, you know, Canadians destroy the NCAA. They're always shooting and, and the goalies can't see. They're dipping their shoulders and going high. Their shoulders high, shooting low. And I think once we introduce the set of shooting to our players, we need to practice it in the box. And, and, and they kind of leave the box season with skills that the average American player doesn't have.